Hey guys, today I'm going to be teaching you how to do this and put your mouth where your eyes are because that's a pretty popular meme, I guess. You kids are into memes. We're going to go ahead and import some media that I have previously recorded. And I think it's this one. We're going to go ahead and drag this in. And then we are going to cut it right there. And right there. Hey guys, what's going on? Editing Garrett here. Sorry to interrupt the video, but I've kind of noticed that there are a lot of mouse smack sounds in this video. Like that. And, um kind of sucks. So I'm going to make it suck a little bit less if you count the mouse smacks in this video and then comment the total number of them. I'm going to take all the people who are subscribed and are also right and enter them into a randomly selected giveaway where you're going to win a pop socket. If you're right and you're subscribed to the channel, there's a chance you might win a pop socket. So hit me up in those comments down below and let's jump back into the video. Those are where things aren't happening. So we're going to drag this back. We're going to turn it into a compound clip because we are going to want it up here as a compound clip. And then we're going to alt drag to duplicate our compound clip. Then we're going to take our top one, we're going to pop into fusion, and we are going to make an ellipse mask around my mouth. We're going to soften that edge up just like that. We're going to do the same thing on compound clip copy two whatever your second layer is here and then we're gonna shrink that down as I'm doing this I kinda just realized that I could have just copied my mask and then pasted it into this one but doesn't matter here we go so back into edit we're gonna wanna turn these into new compound clips because if we start to move them without doing that they are going to just move what's in the mask and it's gonna not move your mouth essentially the frame that you can see through the mask that you just made. But now that it's a compound clip, that won't be a problem. If we move it, you'll see what happens. The mouth moves. So we'll grab this one as well. We're gonna make that into a new compound clip. And we're gonna move that one over there. So now that these are compound clips, we can go ahead and delete them out of our timeline. Because we have them up here in our media pool which is where we want them to be. We're going to pop into Fusion, and then the first thing we're gonna do once we're in here is go ahead and hit Shift Spacebar, and then get a planar tracker, just like that. We're gonna hold Shift and drag this right into that line, and then we're going to make sure that this is set to hybrid point slash area, and then we're gonna go ahead and set this just to make sure that it's at the same spot that we're trying to track, and then we're gonna go and draw our area of tracking around whatever it is we're tracking. In this case, my face. And then we're gonna go ahead and switch perspective to translation and rotation, because then it's not gonna make your mouth, little mouths, do anything wonky. It's just gonna move and rotate with your face. Track forward. And now that we have all that tracking data, we're going to go ahead and create two planar transforms, one and two. We're going to move them over here, and we are going to move up a little bit. Now, we're going to drag in our two copied compound clips. And we are going to go ahead and add a transform node to both of them. And then we're going to run them through our planar transform into a merge node. Just like that. And now we're going to take them and we're going to use their transforms that they have to move them up, shrink them down to about eye sized. Do the same with this one. We got to merge that. Do the same with that transform node. We're going to move it up and shrink it down to about eye sized. Put it right over the eye, just like that. And then since these are tracked to the movements of my face, if we hit play, it should all move together, if it's all working right. I would say it's all working right. That's looking good. So if we pop back into the edit page now, 
We've got a red bar up top, which means it's still rendering, but I'll be right back to you as soon as that bar is blue. 2,000 years later. All right, so we're back. The bar is blue. I'm going to go ahead and hit play, and you will see the final result here. This is the clip that I'm going to be using to put my mouth over my eyes. Wow! There it is. Your mouth is over your eyes, or whatever else you want. That's how you superimpose things over top of other things. If you wanted to annoying orange yourself, all you would have to do is color grade that mouth cutout to match the orange. So you just need to make it way more orange. That's all there is to it. I hope you enjoyed this DaVinci Resolve tutorial. If you did, make sure to leave a like down below. And if you want to keep learning how to do things in DaVinci Resolve, some are definitely more serious than this, make sure you hit subscribe down below the channel. And if you don't want to miss an upload, make sure you hit that bell. I'll see you guys in the next video. I hope you have a great day.